Disposable coffee cups are a marvel of the modern world, making our lives ever more convenient. Imagine that, we used to have to drink out of real cups and the staff used to have to wash them up afterwards. But now, of course, you buy a coffee, sit down, relax, and then when you're done, you just throw it in the bin. But there is a huge environmental cost being paid by these things. 2.5 billion coffee cups are thrown away in the UK alone each year. That equates to about a million trees and 200 million worldwide. Now, I don't know why we're make, not making them from recycled cardboard. I can only assume it's down to cost and it's probably cheaper to cut down our own forests or probably more likely we're importing wood from places with less stringent laws, cheap labor, and we're making them from that. It also equates to the millions of liters of water and energy consumed to make the cups. And of course, all the CO2 produced, which is obviously contributing to climate change. Not to mention the fortune it's costing us as taxpayers to clear up all this rubbish, because of course it has to be buried in the ground. And if you don't drink coffee, then you're sharing that burden. Now, unfortunately, they are very hard to recycle. The reason being, if you look inside, you have a plastic lining to make it waterproof. This is a cardboard cup, but it has a laminated polyethylene liner, which is bonded to the cardboard, and it's not easily recyclable. And then you've got the lid, which, even though it has a recycling symbol on top, the number six and the PS stand for polystyrene. And even though I've been putting it in my council waste, it's not recyclable, so I've been contaminating the stream, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Now, you can recycle these. I'm gonna flash up an image now. There's places like train stations, McDonald's have them, but they are heavily underutilized. Only one in every 400 cups is being recycled. At least, however, they are better than the old ones we used to have, which is the pure polystyrene cups, these god awful things. But what about biodegradable coffee cups, I hear you cry? Well, yes, like their regular counterparts, they have a cardboard body, but the difference is they have a bioplastic liner, probably made from something like cornstarch. Now this will degrade, but only under certain conditions. And if you put it into your own compost bin at home or the council food waste collection bin, it's not gonna degrade and they're gonna have to fish it out. This is because it has to be hot composted just like biodegradable plastic bags or nappies or any other thing that's labeled as biodegradable. Now, there are no collection facilities for this, so for all intents and purposes, it ends up in landfill. Now you might think, well, it will break down in landfill, but of course, under huge amounts of pressure buried deep in the ground, no air, water or bacteria can get to it and so it never degrades. So what's the solution? Now we could of course put an outright ban on them, but we don't seem to be fans of that in this country more likely to employ a cost associated with it, just like we did with single-use carrier bags. And you don't really see them around that much these days. It had a huge impact, and now people who go to the supermarket just take a reusable carrier bag and don't think twice about it. It really was just a culture change, and I think that can, the same thing can be applied with coffee cups. But for those remaining, we should probably employ a recycling and a carbon tax to deal with the waste that the councils have to pay out millions for to deal with every year. And then of course the long-term environmental damage. There is another alternative and that is of course to buy a reusable cup. Let's start by taking a look at my existing coffee cup which got smashed in my backpack, hence why I'm buying a new one. It is made from polypropylene which as you can imagine is not easily recyclable, has to be taken to a specialist facility. So the first criteria for my new coffee cup is that it needs to be biodegradable or easily recyclable. That means council collection or a council waste facility that I can easily take it to. Point number two is that it needs to be relatively affordable. Now I wanna spend more money on this to get a quality product, but I don't want it to be so expensive that only rich people can afford it. Number three, it has a god awful smell all the time. And I put that down to the harsh cleaning materials I've used in the past, probably created micro scratches in the plastic and it collects bacteria like nobody's business. So probably it needs to be metal, and perhaps dishwasher safe, something like that. The next point is that it needs to be leak proof so it doesn't spill over in my bag. And finally, it needs to be the right size. It's very close to a regular coffee cup. Uh, you can't really count the screw thread portion because that's where the lid goes, but you're looking at about 300 milliliters to match an existing coffee cup and have it fit under all coffee machines. Anyway, let's take a look online what's available. There's quite a few different options available, starting off with the Invul. This is at the budget end of the market for eight pounds. Now this has got a stainless steel body. And as you see in the description, it is double walled vacuum insulated. Now, all of these coffee cups are made in, all these stainless steel ones are made in the same way. And that 
is the way it keeps the hot drinks hot and the cold drinks cold. The lid is plastic, likely to be polypropylene, um, if you read some of the manufacturer's descriptions. And the reason I highlight that is because although the body, being steel, can be recycled it's simply in scrap metal at the end of life, uh, the lid can't be easily recycled. It can't just be thrown in your curbside recycling. So for all intents and purposes, that's going to landfill. So not the most sustainable cup, but it would last a long time. The other thing to think about with stainless steel with paint on it is that any of these cups that are painted stainless steel are not dishwasher safe. And the reason being is because the paint will flake off eventually. Now, I don't think that's a real deal breaker because you're going to be drinking coffee every day but you're probably not running your dishwasher every day. So you're gonna to have to hand clean it no matter what. So for me, it's not a major issue. Size wise, um, it's a 13 centimeters from the bottom of the cup to the top of the cup, not including the lid. And that is the perfect size, as I said before, to fit under virtually every coffee machine. 380 milliliters it's listed as, but you have to deduct that threaded portion really, because that takes up some space. So you're looking at probably more like 350 milliliters and that's slightly more than a regular cup of coffee. So again, it's kind of the ideal size. Now I won't list, I won't describe all the volumes and heights of all the cups. I will just bring it up on the screen and you can make your judgment based off of that. Uh, the only real downside I see to this cup, even though it says it's leak proof and a lot of the consumers claim it is, you shake it around like that, it's absolutely fine. But for me, I know that that's like a little tab there and if that got knocked in my bag, it would open it up and not only that if you were to say make you know rush out the door you just pour boiling water in your cup leg it out the door and the cup gets shaken up then the pressure may build up and pop that open so if I'm going to be upgrading my cup then I need to make sure that it really is much much better and 100% leak proof in all situations other than that it's probably quite a good cup uh, the life venture stainless steel body with a plastic lid quite a small cup 300 millilitres but we have to scroll down to the consumer photos because they don't have any on the main page to see what it's all about and you can see here you have to unscrew the lid completely to drink from the open mouth of the cup which is not really any good for me because I like to drink sometimes when I'm driving my car and I don't want to have to take both hands off the steering wheel to open it up maybe that's not an issue for you um, the main feature of this though is this pressure relief valve and what that will do is if again as if I say you know you pour boiling water in and you go to run out the door it gets shaken up this will release that pressure the problem is that a lot of consumers claim that it releases the pressure all over you all over your bag so I'm not really personally willing to take a risk on that uh, the circular and cone now this one is a really really clever cup they, they hit a lot of the points on this one in terms of sustainability Circular, the clue is in the name, they're trying to make a fully circular product by starting off with recycled coffee cups mixed with recycled plastic and then at end of life, not only that, it's recyclable in your curbside collection so it actually allows you to do it easily. Well that's what they claim anyway. Um, the operation is very simple too, you've got a push to close and push to open button, big fat button on the top. My only gripe with it would be that I smashed the top of my coffee cup in my bag and this is likely that I would knock that and open it up and make it leak. So for me, it would have to have a lock on it. I do believe they're coming out with one with a lock, but since it's not available yet, I'm gonna to have to get something else. But yeah, a really fantastic company, really looking at all aspects of the product. The only issue, other issue is that some quality issues with it, but hopefully they would have resolved those in due course. Now, another really interesting one is the BioGo. This is made from rice husks. So it's, you know, the leftovers from when they process rice and they're extracting some sort of biopolymer to make this thing. Now, just to point out, this being, even though it's biopolymer, some sort of plastic and the circular being plastic, those are dishwasher safe. So all plastic ones, are completely plastic, are dishwasher safe. Um, again, they are trying to do a really good thing here. Very reasonable price, 10 pounds. A bit on the large side, I'm not sure how well that would fit under all coffee machines, but again, my main gripe with this is, you see it's got that little plunger style and it just wouldn't work for me in my backpack, but maybe it will be good for you. I would definitely buy one of these if you could. 
The brew, uh, very similar design to the Circular & Co because it has the push button top. It also has a ceramic lining, which is unique in all these, which means it's supposed to taste more like a regular mug. But even though it's got that ceramic lining, being stainless steel, I've confirmed that it actually can be recycled at end of life. It has a polypropylene lid, which can't be recycled, but it's just generally a very good quality product. Um, but doesn't have a lock on it. Now this one, I really don't like this one. Uh, it's more style over substance. It's got very clean lines. I think that's what they've gone for. But for me, I like to have a lip or something to bite onto, some sort of mouthpiece, whereas this has just got a hole because they're trying to keep it all nice and clean. The other issue is that it's got a lot of quality issues. If you read the reviews in terms of leakage, in terms of heat retention, and the valve mechanism inside is quite complicated, so it's more likely for things to go wrong. And not only that, they've now released a version with an AFID chip in it, so you can pay for your coffee with your coffee cup. I don't really see the point, personally. Now, the Moon Cup, this comes in two different sizes, very similar to the Brew Cup. It has a stainless steel body with a polypropylene lid. It just has a slightly smaller button on the top, but again, no lock, so not really a contender for me, personally. Now we come to the top end of the market, the Contigo Lux, and it is deluxe. It's got a stainless steel body and a stainless steel lid with some plastic in the top, so most of it can be recycled as scrap metal at end of life. It's a lot of money to pay for a coffee cup, but my thinking is this is going to last a long time. It's got a nice little dipped mouthpiece there towards the back. You can't really see it in that image, maybe in this one. You can see it there. Uh, but more importantly, it has the button on the side, so you're not going to knock it from above, and it can be locked. That is the real key selling point for me, it can be locked. Um, if it is important to you, this is actually, despite what I said before, this is actually the only one that is dishwasher safe. The entire unit has got paint on it. Even these ones have got paint on it, and they can be dishwashed. The only problem is it's a little bit on the large side, so they do also offer this one. So I'm going to get that one, I'm going to get this one as well, to compare them. This one has a polypropylene lid so one negative to it but it does have the push button on the side and the lock and the same mouthpiece so again I'm buying this more for a high quality product that's going to last a very long time it's a very simple mechanism inside I really really like it and not it's expensive but not the most expensive this one the Japanese again push button on the side lock but it's more like a thermos flask than a coffee cup. Very popular in Japan, just too expensive and doesn't quite hit all the marks for me as the Contigo does. Then we've got this show one, which I quite like because it's cheap and cheerful, but is also all stainless steel, can, so can be recycled as scrap metal at end of life. Problem with it is it's 500 milliliters, so way too big. Uh, and I thought I'd just quickly show you these ones. These are silicon collapsible cups. Now silicon is actually better for the planet when it breaks down. It's not perfect but it's better than plastic in terms of breaking down into microplastics. Uh, I don't like it obviously because it doesn't have a 100% leak proof cap but it is very practical in terms of it squashing down like that. So anyway let's order these two Contigo ones and give them a little review. Right so the two contenders have arrived to face off the old dog. Let's start off with the Bigger of the two, the more deluxe one, the Contigo Lux. Take a look inside. Nice, clean stainless steel body inside. And it has this, what I like about it is a very simple plunger mechanism. So it's literally got that rubber plunger and it plugs up a hole and that's it. And it clicks in place. So you open that when you put it in the dishwasher to give it a nice proper clean. Now I'm going to flash you up an image of what it looks like under a coffee machine. Now it wouldn't fit under all coffee machines, I can guarantee you that, but it's going to fit under most. Size wise, let's do a little comparison between this and the Pinnacle, and you can see it's quite a bit larger, but it is a more of a deluxe product. Let's just show you how it operates, so you can have it around that way, you're just going to press your button, now it's locked at the moment, unlock, press your button, you can see that plunger opening and closing. So you can do your one handed operation, I'm going to show you how to lock it. Like that, you see it's a very stiff lock. Now this one, identical mechanism on the lid. Inside again, stainless steel body. Same plunger arrangement. It's unlocked. Let's press the button and lock it. Now I'll show you a picture of this in my coffee cup holder. 
So I've been able to use this for a couple of weeks and I am really, really happy with this. It's such an improvement over this one. Let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. And you can see they're almost identical size. Because this one's a bit narrower, I do find the coffee fills up a little bit. We we'll just take a little sip and then I put the lid on. It's absolutely fine. That's it for this video, guys. And I just want to remind myself why I make these product review videos. A big part of it is obviously trying to prevent all the billions of disposable cups going to landfill. But it's also to give you guys advice on what quality products are out there. Because there's a lot of junk out there. And if we're just buying junk, then we're not really solving the problem. Anyway, if you like this video, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more videos like this on sustainability, permaculture, EVs, fixing things, carpentry and so on. So we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.